Hi and welcome to today's Tax and Business Matters. I'm your host, Emily Gray. In this episode, we will discuss, ways to get tax-free income. A two-year tax cut extension, that compromise between Congress and the President was nice, but you can do better. You can get a 0% tax rate on many kinds of income. It's pretty hard to avoid paying taxes on your paycheck. But there are all kinds of ways to pick up money that the Internal Revenue Service can't touch, such as from rebates, fringe benefits and moonlighting. Let's take them one by one. Number 1, Moonlighting. The first couple of thousand dollars a year you pocket from outside jobs is likely to be tax-free. Reason: You probably have all sorts of expenses, such as for continuing education, a home office, professional association dues and a computer that you can write off against freelance income. Since these are expenses that you usually can't otherwise deduct, your early freelance dollars are pure gravy. Number 2, Get Reimbursed Ask your employer to cover more of your work expenses, like those professional dues, in lieu of giving you a raise. So long as your expenses are documented, the reimbursement is not income to you. Your company will save on payroll taxes, too. But don't mess with country club dues. These aren't deductible. Number 3, Take the Bus You can pull up to $230 a month out of your paycheck, pre-tax, to cover mass transit, then pooling and commuter parking. Number 4, Hustle Rebates Those grocery store coupons may not be worth your time, but the $50 rebates you get on phones and computers definitely are. As a reduction in the cost of an item for personal use, a rebate is not considered taxable income. Number 5. Pay off credit cards. Where else are you going to earn 18% on your money? To top it off, this 18% dividend is totally tax-free. Number 6. Rent your house out. If you rent out a house for 14 or fewer days, the income is scot-free. Not only that, you don't have to prorate or reduce your otherwise deductible mortgage interest and property taxes. Unlike the remodeling gambit, this one works on vacation homes, too. Number 7. Be a good neighbor. You babysit the neighbor's children, and in return he paints your garage. You're both earning money, in effect, by providing services. While the IRS can assess taxes on people in barter exchanges that involve account books and transactions with strangers. There's no way to levy a tax on helping out a friend. Number 8. Have a charity tax sale. You were going to send $500 to Doctors Without Borders anyway. Do it this way. Have a tag sale, unloading tchotchkes from your attic, and advertise that 100% of the proceeds will go to the worthy cause. If you haul in $490, that sum becomes, in effect, tax-free income for your day of labor. Number 9. Set up an HSA. In combination with a high deductible health insurance policy for your family, you set up a health savings account and put $6,150 a year, $7,150 if you're over 55, of tax deductible money into it. You can use the bucks right away to pay in covered medical costs. But you don't have to eat into the account in this fashion. Instead, pay your doctor bills out of your checking account, then let the $6,150 compound tax-free until you are retired. If you use the HSA later in life for medical costs, Dot which will be considerable, Medicare is going bankrupt, then both the principal and the earnings come out tax-free. Number 10, Hire the Kids. If you own your own business, make your teenage children into employees. If the pay is reasonable for what they do, you can deduct the payroll, lowering your high bracket net income. On the receiving end a child labor owes no federal income tax on earned income below the $5,700 standard deduction. If the kid also has investment income, the exact value of the freebie gets more complicated. But, in round numbers, $5,000 of summer job income is going to be free of income tax. You will, however, have to cough up for Social Security and Medicare taxes. That's all we have on ways to get tax-free income. You can check on more IRS tax tips on our website, www.howtodoyourowntaxes.com. Please join us again next time as we give you more valuable IRS tax tips here on Tax and Business Matters. This is Emily Gray saying goodbye, and have a nice day.